Hello everyone, welcome to Underfill Asgore Pacifist Battle. So, this is a Undertale fan game, yeah, as you can tell. Now, this is Underfill Asgore. So, this is like a pacifist battle. Normally, people make genocide battles and, you know, other things like that. So, pretty happy that we're going to get to experience this one. Now, we have credits, which we'll look at the end of the video. Oh, yeah. So, insane. That will be for next, like, next time. That, not next time, but, like, at some point we'll do insane. But that's in development, so we can't. We only have the option for normal difficulty, so. Normal difficulty it is, I guess. I am playing the newest version, 1.1. So, let's do this. Alright, buddy. This is it. The king lies just beyond this entrance. Hey, what's the face for? Once you dealt with him, once you've dealt with him, you can get out of here. Isn't that what you want? Wanted? You have the support of everyone in the underground now. And more importantly, I'll be coming with you to face Asgore. You've helped me become someone I never thought I could be again. I won't leave that down. Not now. Not when you and I have come so far. And even if we don't survive this, I just want to, I just want to say, I was glad I could help you. You really did show me that people can change. But Asgore, I remember telling you only to fight and to never use mercy. Believing everyone in this place was dangerous and that it was kill or be killed. And while I'm glad you never brought yourself to do it, to do it, I have no idea how you're gonna go about sparing this guy. Remember what he's done. What everyone has told you about him. Because when you enter this next room, the end of your journey will be at hand. Your fate, his and those of humans and monsters will be decided tonight. Alright, let's go. Now, this room actually is very like nice. Now, there is like Easter egg, I think. Well, nah, there isn't. Never mind about that. I did play the version 1.0, and there was an Easter egg. I assume that'll probably be like you know whenever 1.2 comes out, because the coder did find a red bug, so he'll be fixing that. But anyway, let's get right onto the show, shall we? So you finally arrived, human. At long last. It's funny, very few of you humans actually make it here, but how fitting in the end, the final saw makes it here to my domain. I suppose we shouldn't act like we don't know what's going to happen next. I have waited this day for a very long time, and yet I still don't understand you humans. Why you fall here? Is it curiosity? Idiosity? Or is it something darker? Well, no matter what that reason is, it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters now. You are the final soul that is needed. The friendships you have formed, the people you have saved and given hope to, none of it matters anymore. Oh boy, let's start this battle. By the way, the sprite looks very nice, so good job to whoever did that. Oh. Alright, I guess we're getting escorted to the final area. Come, child. Prepare for what fate has granted you. Alright. Let's get the show on the road. Alright. 
Ooh, nightfall exudes over the room, making it difficult to see the figure who towers above you. In the face of desolation, you stand ready, trying to stare down the one who's caused all this pain. As your journey draws to a close, you face one final challenge. You're filled with determination. Let's do this. Now this is called the pacifist battle, so we'll be doing pacifist first. We won't try to kill him. Let's go. Ascore attacks. So we have act items. Let's see what we have in our item slots. A butterscotch, two junk food, chips, hot dog, and CT, and a spider donut. Alright, we got a good item variety. We got eight items. That's a lot. We can refuse or check. Let's check first. King Asgore, attack 85, defense 90. The king of all monsters, determined to take your soul. Alright. Alright, not bad. Not bad. First attack. Easy enough. Let's refuse now. You refuse to fight. So, you won't fight. Your compassion is admirable, but very misplaced. Alright. Alright, this attack, this is a classical Asgore attack, not bad, not bad, alright, let's refuse again, I've killed many humans before you, think about it, alright, not bad, not bad, we're doing very good at the moment, no hits yet, yet, <laughs> it's only been two attacks, I gotta calm down. I could have passed through the barrier with just one, then come back as a god to shatter the barrier with several more in hand. Ooh, alright. Uh, not bad. This attack is actually nice. It's simple enough, but I feel like it's gonna get harder throughout the battle. Through truth to be told, however, I haven't desired to free my people in ages. With my finding of a greater alternative, I had to keep the source locked. And now that you're here, I can finally do what I set out to do years ago. I should be thanking you. Alright. A lot of these attacks are a classical. As gore, so not bad. So we're pretty good, okay. Your death will bring an end to an age that will never come about. I'll be able to stop what was created long ago. Alright. Alright, not bad. We're doing very well. This endless cycle of malice and hatred will cease. I will even be able to stop people from dying. Alright, you got big goals on my dude. You got big goals. Which is always a good thing to have, but a little bit too crazy. Ah, very nice, yes. That's very epic, right there. It is true. My original plan was indeed to destroy the barrier. Until one day. Oh boy, what was that one day? One day, all right. The attacks are pretty good so far. I, I like them. Like they ain't bad to dodge. They're pretty easy. I'm sure you would have met someone named Undyne on your travels. She's a desperate, cruel mercenary who supposedly roams about in waterfall. All right. Don't move, don't move, and move. Alright. Easy enough. Oh? So you do know about her? Then you must know she was the former captain of my royal guard. Did you save her too? Yeah, we did. Alright. Doing pretty good. Because I can assure you, she is far from innocent. 
and I am certain she didn't tell you everything about her past. Alright. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense you wouldn't tell everything about your past. <clears throat> like her discharge from the guard. It was not something I wanted. It's what she asked for. Alright. Easy attack, but very nice. We're doing very well. We haven't needed to heal yet. So we're doing pretty good. I brought her up. I helped her train. I treated her like my own child. And what did I get in return? Another assassination attempt on my life. Alright. Alright, this attack isn't bad. It's a little bit different from the other one. Excluding now, you just have to you do circles instead of like going up and down. While well, I've had to deal with attempts of assassination and rebellion before, no one was ever as difficult to defeat as her. Alright. We're doing very well so far. Alright. Let's go. We both fought with all our strength. Impressively, she managed to hold her own, even injuring me. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Are you recording no hit? Nah. I'm not gonna do no hit. I don't think. I will try, but like, not now. In the end, however, I plunged my scythe into her eye and ranked it out. She can see. I imprisoned her without a trial, as painful as that was. Not even a month into her imprisonment, she found a way of escape. I didn't see a point in tracking her down, and I haven't seen her since. Alright. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Let's try again. It was here I truly learned how unfair and cruel life was in this timeline. I scheduled myself even further and realized what had to be done. Alright. That attack is very simple and nice to do. I decided to read up on alternate timelines along with anything I could find on the power of human souls. With the help of the royal scientist, in endeavors were successful. Alright. Well, so, experiments. So you did some experiments on your own kind, I assume. Or the human souls. It was here I came to a realization. The souls had to be used for something better than freedom and that something was and still is to change the past all right so you want to change the past all right understandable understandable which brings me to the royal scientist her experiments weren't of any use after i knew what had to be done it no doubt broke her soul, brain force to work on countless innocents. Alright. Yeah, the attacks are getting harder. They are getting much more, far more difficult than beforehand at the start of the fight. It still hurts me, knowing that I had ruined the lives of innocent people that day. Knowing full well their families wouldn't be the same again. As well as forcing the doctor to carry out the experiments that ruined them. Alright, oh, we got, okay, interesting. We got an undying sorts of attack. Not bad. Pretty simple. Pretty simple, alright. I am without doubt they all hate me for what I put them through. They rightfully should. It's just one of many mistakes I plan to. 
I, I could, I, I don't know, my brain was just didn't register. I just press enter as soon as possible. I hoped for an army, an army fueled by determination to help eradicate your kind where I would have allowed the monsters to rule the surface in peace. Alright. Not bad. We're doing very good at the moment. Even now, I still think about how much of a curse your kind has been. I would have I would take great pleasure in breaking their bodies, their spirits. All before I reset. I'll make them understand the pain they brought me when they Alright. We should be getting close, I feel like. I feel like we're getting pretty close, I would say. Alright. Alright, nothing, nothing. They took him from me. And no monster in this cursed place cared enough. Not when Kara died or when my son left for the surface. They I I I don't I don't care anymore. I want my children back. I want my wife back. I don't care for the lives for these pathetic, ungrateful creatures. I will put an end to this suffering. I will save my children. I will reset everything. I cannot if you refuse to fight me. Your life ends now. So stand still and meet the might of my blade. Alright. Oh, phase two maybe? Question mark. All right, let's let's get this. All right, not bad. All right, oh up, left and right. All right, easy enough. Okay, so just left and right. All right, simple enough. Oh, no, oh, he's taking our options away to even do anything at this point. Alright, so as soon as it's gonna be just survival at this point, survive as long as possible. Alright, not bad. We're doing very well. Alright. We got a Muffet sort of attack, a purple soul one. No, oh, he's getting rid of everything we have. Alright. Alright, alright. We're doing very well. We still have max HP, so... Well, we did get hit once, but like, still. Alright, how long do we have left? Alright. Alright, simple enough. Alright, they, well, destroyed our... They destroyed everything, he destroyed ev- Oh, what? Um... I don't know how, how am I meant to humanly dodge this? You actually, I actually don't know how you meant to like dodge. I mean, I'm not dying. I'm still survive as much as like I've taken like 10 million damage. All right. Ha! Huh. And to think I possibly had the strength to annihilate your kind. I can't even kill a single human child. This is what you were waiting for, wasn't it? A chance to finally strike me down. Well, now's your chance. Be done with it already, human. Kill me. Let me die. Ah, we get a choice. Obviously, since it's called the 
in the title, it's called The Pacifist Battle. So, let's give him mercy. What are you doing? Stop it. I said stop. What are you trying to accomplish? I don't understand. I can't understand. I can't. Why are you saving me? Even after everything I have done to you, you still refuse to deliver the final blow. My two children were the light of my life. They were two kindest individuals in this whole damn place. After my adopted child died, everything went to hell. While my wife and I were grieving, Azrael went to the surface. Only to be met with an onslaught by the humans. He came back brutally beaten and wounded and collapsed in my and my wife's arms. No child deserves to go through what he went through. I just want to see him again. I miss my family so much. If you won't finish me off, then I will do it myself. Listen, I know it was hard for you after what happened, but if you don't move on, things are only going to get worse. These people need a leader, not an idiot. I realize killing you wouldn't just be pointless, but would leave the underground in a state far worse. Do you really think this is what they would want? I don't know. You could have brought up the hopes of your people. Instead, you were so set in grief that everyone had to pay the price. Move on already. So, are you going to remain a coward or are you going to take some responsibility? You're right. About everything. The day of the underground fell into despair. I could have bought their hopes up, but I did not. Instead, I started blaming everyone for what happened. My people, my guards, my wife, I blamed my whole kingdom, but too pathetic to blame myself. My wife became disgusted with my actions. She left, never to be seen again. It is true. I ruined the lives of those under the guise of my protection and power. I neglected my responsibilities in hopes of finding an easy way out. And justifying everything in between with nonsense. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to see my family again. Alright, let's, let's give him a good old hug. Let's, let's, he deserves it. Alright. And that should be it. I don't want to let go. Thank you, both of you. I promise that I will take full responsibility. It may not be easy, but I will come clean and fix my mistakes. I mean, the best start to becoming a better person is acknowledging your mistakes, right? Even though it took us two ice ages and a child's defiance of the universe, the point is that you did. I'm sure that the rest of the underground will forgive you in time. Maybe this is what my children would have wanted. Rest easy, my little Azrael, Kara. Let us leave this place together. I'll meet you two out there. And that's it, fading in black, slowly but surely, taking a little bit while, but... And that's it, Undertale Asgore Pacifist Battle. Oh, we have the credits right here, ah. Well, I guess then we don't need to go through the credits yet. This was a very well done fan game, honestly. It was very well done, not gonna lie. There's not much to complain. Like, there's actually like nothing to complain about this game. I can't call it bad, good, you know. Well, obviously I can call it good, but I meant to say like, 
I can't call it bad because there wasn't that much bad in it. There was like nothing. It did what it, you know, you would want. A special thanks to every member of this team for contributing their time and energy into bringing this to life. And you, the player, without you guys, none of this would have been possible. And that's it. Oh yeah, there's this disclaimer that I accidentally, because when I was going through full screen, I pressed enter by accident and then... So, disclaimer is a non-profit fan game, all characters are property of Toby Fox. We, the Underfall Asgore team, recommend that you play the Undertale first, as this game contains spoilers for the original game. With that being said, we hope you enjoyed. Now, obviously, I should have put that in the start, but I put that at the end, so, eh, doesn't matter. But yeah, for that will be it for today's episode. I will be trying to do no hit. As you know, you saw I was pretty close to doing no hit. I only got hit once in the whole entire boss fight. So maybe I can get that one try, who knows? So the only thing I have is do genocide, no hit, and then insane mode whenever that comes out, and then probably insane mode no hit. But that will take me like 10 years, but anyway, I want to say thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. Have a good day wherever you are in the big wide world. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.